Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a custom domain name for your Google My Business website. Now you have pretty much three different options here. One is a domain name forwarding. One is to transfer your domain name to Google My Business. And the other one is to buy a new domain name from Google Domain. So uh, we'll walk through each one of those in this tutorial here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, this is my Google My Business site. Oh, it's the Google My Business dashboard. If you wanna look at the website associated with it, we'll click on website. And as you can see here, it's just a basic uh, uh, landing page for my business, my video production business with my friend. And what you can see up here at the top is that we have right now a free domain name from Google My Business. So swampview.business.site. You'll probably have something similar, uh, something.business.site. So like I said, the first option that we can do is set up a redirect. Okay, so what I have here with Namecheap, it, it could be GoDaddy or some something else, DreamHost, wherever you get a domain name from, you can forward that re, you can forward that domain name or redirect that domain name to your Google My Business site. So I have that set up here, as you can see. If somebody goes to like, comment, subscribe club, they'll be redirected to swampview.business.site. So let's try that out. I'm going to copy this, and you'll see what happens here. In the URL, if we go to like comment subscribe.club hit enter you'll see that that will redirect us to the google my business site uh, but as you can see in the url this has changed from like comment subscribe.club to swampview.business site so that that might not be something that you want if you want to keep the domain name always visible then you're going to have to pick one of these other two options which involves like i said transferring the domain name to google, google domains or to buy a new domain name. So I do have a video about how to transfer your domain name to Google Domains. So I recommend that you check that out. I'll have that linked in this video or in the description below. Um, and then the third option is to purchase a new domain name. So uh, you'll see if we get out of here, go back to the dashboard for Google My Business that uh, you can see this little tab right here, right? And this says it's suggesting based on the name of your, your Google My Business site. It says, maybe you would like the URL swampviewproductions.com or there's swampviewproductions.net, swampviewproductions.org. Um, you can go through here and these are $12 a year if you want to buy one of them. This is going to uh, allow you to do that. So what I'm going to do is go through the process of uh, buying a domain name for this. And then uh, once I've done that, I will pick back up with you and show you how to associate it with your Google My Business site. All right, guys, so once you have either transferred your domain name to Google Domains or have bought a new domain name from Google Domains, when you go to your Google My Business website page here, remember before it was to asking you if you wanted to buy a new domain name, if we refresh this page, you'll see that now you have the option to connect your domain name to Google Domains. And just to prove that to you, if you go to your Google Domains dashboard, domains.google.com, you'll see that I own the domain name careerquitter.com, right? So here's careerquitter.com. It's part of my account and that's why it is showing up in my Google My Business site. So if we click on the connect option, would you like to connect careerquitter.com to this website? Yes, click on the connect button and it's gonna go ahead and associate that domain name with your Google My Business website. Okay, so that was a success. If we come over here to uh, Google Domains and for this domain name, if we go to the DNS settings, uh, and this is a little bit advanced, but I just wanna make you guys aware that this is here. Um, if we refresh this, hopefully we'll see this show up in a uh, in short amount of time. Um, there we go. Okay, so under the synthetic records section, you'll see that, again, careerquitter.com in this case is now associated with Google My Business. And for the first, you know, uh, it says here up to 24 hours, you might see this message where it says the synthetic record has an error and will not function correctly. That has something to do with the SSL certificate. So uh, when we do go to, when we click this button to click or to visit site, right? Uh, it will take us to our website, swampview.business.site. Uh, but the thing is, we want it to go to we want to go to careerquitter.com. Uh, so let's test it out. Careerquitter.com. If we visit that site, we're going to get that error. 
um, for the first up to 24 hours. Now, for me, it was more like five minutes. So I think what we'll do here uh, until that that uh, that error goes away, which is again common. This this always happens uh, until this goes away. Uh, I'll pause the video, fast forward, and when that goes away, uh, I'll show you how it's all working now. Okay, guys, and just a few minutes later, let's see what we're working with here. If we refresh this page for Google Domains. Uh, we should see that that error has gone away and it does. Uh, it's not there anymore. So everything should be set up correctly. So if we open up a new tab, this time go to careerquitter.com. Uh, did I spell that right? C-A-R-E-E-R-Q. Nope, I forgot the R. <laughs> careerquitter.com. Uh, that now takes us to our Google My Business website, and you'll notice that we are uh, still seeing the careerquitter.com domain name. So in your case, this should be the same. Uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was valuable. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.